Hello everyone, my name is Hannes and I'm joined today by my colleague Dora and we're going to walk you through the EPA series on energy poverty handbooks. So what are the EPA handbooks, Dora? So the EPA handbooks is a, a series of different publications that are designed to guide municipalities to perfection and implement their energy poverty actions. Um, as you know, we have different uh, direct technical assistances ongoing, but we are also aware that not all the municipality had access to this type of support. So we designed the handbooks uh, to have the chance to uh, support all the municipality across Europe. So municipality can always read and implementing the different exercises we are getting through the handbooks uh, will have a direct support on how to implement uh, the actions at local level. The first handbook is focused on diagnosis. Can you uh, explain to me what, a, uh, what an energy poverty diagnosis is? So at HEPA we believe that uh, the first important thing is to understand what is actually ongoing at your local level. Uh, municipalities can have some difficulties to understand which shapes uh, uh, energy poverty is taking, uh, considering the local context, uh, geographical specificity and uh, socio-economical elements. So the diagnosis uh, handbook is helping them uh, to understand what are the different elements that constitute uh, uh, and that can create a first analysis and result in a report that they can effectively use to plan better their actions to tackle energy poverty. And the handbooks are relatively practical. So what are the objectives of the handbook, or especially the first handbook? And what uh, do municipalities gain from the publication? We tried to make uh, uh, the guidelines uh, as uh, interactive as possible. So of course, uh, they will be guided through seven steps in the case of diagnosis uh, that we believe are important uh, to define a specific uh, local situations. But a part of uh, the direct explanation of the different steps, we also welcome them to interact with the activities we suggest, do some kind of exercise, and we give them the chance to read also external inputs and link to practical example of uh, what, how it was developed the step in other cases. So the municipality will gain not only a direct, uh, let's say, um, only reading and um, exercise, but they will also have the chance to practice and concretely implement the activities we suggest. In order to access the publications, go to the EPA website and you will find them under publications.